Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It has been a hot minute since I posted any videos on this channel. In short, for those of you that don't want to watch the whole video, I got into a very serious bicycle wreck about two months ago. I'm okay, I'm okay. You know, I'm almost back up to 100%. A little bit of pain in my knee, but other than that, I'm pretty much okay. But it did put me out of commission for a while. Yeah guys, it has not been easy. It hasn't been easy at all. I've been doing my best, and I do mean my best, to try to just get out of bed in the morning and come to work. It's not been easy at all, you know. One of the things that has been really hard is just being motivated, partially when you're really, really hurt and you still gotta ride your bike to work and you still gotta, you know, work the whole day, especially 12 hour days, because this happens to be our busy season. It's not easy, let me tell you. I'll be the first to tell you, it's not been easy. For the first week and a half after I got into my bicycle wreck, I was using an electric bicycle. And I'll show you guys that bicycle in another video because it really did save my bacon that first week of being injured. But I couldn't really put much pressure to the pedals, so having that electric bike helped out a lot. My knee was almost completely unusable. I, I was trying to bend it, but it was cracking a lot and it swole up to the size of a softball. It was not good. It's kind of loud in here, I know. We'll be outside in a few minutes. Stranger than your sympathy and this is my apology I'm killing myself from the inside out And all my fears have pushed you out And I wished for things that I don't need Oh, I won't tell. And what I chase won't set me free Why didn't I vlog? A lot of you are probably wondering that. You know, I got hurt, I got into a bad bicycle wreck, my recovery, why didn't I vlog any of that? And the short answer to that, guys, is I wasn't in a good mood. I was not in a good mood at all. And after my bicycle wreck, and after even the pain started to subside, I got kind of depressed. <laughs> and I was not in a really good mood. Here's the thing, though, okay? Even though I was depressed and I wasn't in a good mood, I still don't mind vlogging. I can vlog, you know, that's not a problem. The reason why I was gun shy about vlogging was just because of the fact that I get a lot of messages where people tell me, Brian, you're kind of being negative or you need to be more positive. And I'm sorry when you're depressed or you're not feeling very well or you're just not in a good mood in general, it's hard to be upbeat and positive, guys. And I think I went through almost two months of just being down in the dumps, you know? Why was I down in the dumps? We'll talk about that here in a minute, but I was down in the dumps, I was depressed. So for about a month and a half, I was feeling really bad. I, I was really, really hurt. Um, I still had to ride to work every single day. I still had to work a 12 hour day. 
and then come home. By the time I got home, I was just so wore out. Filming and editing videos just were not on my mind because I just did not, I was just a zombie, you know? So I just, it takes extra effort to film things. It takes extra effort to edit things. It takes extra effort to make videos in general. And when you're really, really tired and you're barely functioning as it is, it's just really difficult to, you know, make a vlog that somebody probably would want to watch. But, you know, I didn't mind vlogging, but, but the main reason, obviously, that I didn't vlog was because of the fact that I just wasn't in a good mood, and I didn't think a lot of you would want to see me that way. Stranger than your sympathy And this is my apology I'm killing myself from the inside out And all my fears have pushed you out And I wished for things that I don't need All I wanted And what I chase won't set me free Scared, but I'm not crawling on my knees. Oh, and yeah, everything's all wrong. Yeah, everything's all wrong. Yeah, where the hell is I think I was? I'm stranger than your sympathy. I take these things so I don't feel. I'm killing myself from the out. And now my head's been filled with doubt And it's hard to lead the life you choose All I wanted When all your luck's run out on you All I wanted And you can't see when all your dreams are coming true from me and I'm not sure where I belong no as home and I'm all wrong and I wasn't all the things I tried to make believe I was and I wouldn't be the one to kneel before the dreams I wanted and all the talk and all the lies were all the empty things city <laughs> well guys we made it home I was gonna stop and talk a little bit about uh, why I haven't vlogged but I think we'll wait until we get into the house where there's a lot less commotion chaos and stupid people <laughs> because right here in Denver it's not the safest thing in the world so not good when you have a camera pointed at you with a shiny light oh. <clears throat> All right, made it back home. <sighs> had to put the bike away. You might hear Beans in there crying right now. Uh, I had to put her in the bathroom because every time I opened the door to get my huge bicycle rig, you know, with the bags and everything on it, it's really, it's kind of bulky and I have to open the door up really wide to get all that stuff in here. And almost every single time Beans tries to run out and run for the hills. <laughs> She's been cooped up in the apartment all day long, so she feels that, oh my God, I gotta get out and run around. But she doesn't understand that uh, if I don't find you, you are probably going to end up as roadkill or something down here in downtown. So she's not really aware of the dangers. I guess you could say that she's just oblivious. So she'll start running out. So I have to lock her in the bathroom anytime I come in the front door. Otherwise, she just makes a beeline right for the... Uh, for the foyer and one time she bolted out and I couldn't even 
I couldn't even find her for a while. And then I was like, what is wrong with you, Beans? What is wrong with you? Do you know the dangers that lie beyond these walls? But she doesn't. She doesn't. Partly it's my fault because during the summertime I took her outside a lot. So she's gotten used to wanting to go outside and play around a little bit. So anytime the door opens, she thinks, oh, it's a playtime and I'm going to go run out, you know. But uh, she just doesn't know the dangers. She really doesn't. Say hi to your public. Say hi. What's the matter with you, Beans? Huh? What's the matter? Oh, guess a little camera shy, huh? How come you smell weird? You been getting into something while I've been gone? I don't know. Beans is one of those cats that has to have attention 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And she has been going into heat and driving me absolutely bonkers. I almost had to put you up for adoption. You were getting that bad. <laughs> but somebody told me if I go get her fixed, then she'd calm down quite a bit. So we're going to try and make an appointment pretty soon and go in and get her fixed because I don't know if I can take much more of that. It's not just simple meowing, guys. It's like... <coughs> You know, just like that. And I'm just like, shut up. Yeah, she, she's doing it a little bit right now. She's like kicking her hind legs into the air. It's almost like she wants to mate. I don't know who you think you're going to mate with. There's no boy cats around here at all. None. So I don't know what your problem is. She's been driving me absolutely bonkers. I'm going to have to tell you, hopefully... Uh, getting her fixed will calm her down a lot. If it doesn't, I don't know what I'm going to do. I might have to find her a new home. And as much as I don't like that, I, I can't take all the whining and just, it's consistent, guys. It's, it's horrible. It really is. Right now, she's not super bad because I think she's not fully on in heat right now, but it's been getting more frequent and it's getting louder and more annoying and it's just driving me insane. It really is. Okay, guys, um, I was going to tell you about my bicycle wreck in this video, but I decided not to. Um, the bicycle that I got into a wreck on was the Bike Friday bike. Uh, I really want to talk to you guys about that. I'm gathering my notes and I'm gathering my information because I really want to do a Bike Friday Diamond Llama review video. And I am planning on doing a video like that in the next month or so. The issue that I had with that bike is going to be one of the issues that I raise in the negative for that bicycle. And if I tell you about that, it's going to be a long drawn out process because I got to tell you exactly what happened, how it happened. And in all honesty, I don't want to do that in this video because I want to save it for the review video. So just know that it was the bike Friday that I got into a wreck on. I got extremely hurt. I uh, sprained both my hands because I fell almost face first into the concrete while going about 20 miles an hour. So, well, 18 miles an hour. And I sprained both my hands because they were my landing gear when I fell face first into the concrete. I scratched up this eye a little bit or this side of my eye socket a little bit. The handlebars hit me right in the right in the chons right here, you know. It's like I bruised those up really bad uh, and bruised ribs hurt like crazy. And of course I busted up my knee, so it was not a pretty thing. I was hurt in multiple, multiple different locations and it was Oh my God, it was miserable for at least three or four weeks. You know, it was really, really miserable. But we'll talk about what happened in the Bike Friday review video because I will explain in depth what happened and why Bike Friday should probably fix that issue with that bicycle. Two hours later. Okay guys, settled in for the evening. Earlier, I talked about being depressed and obviously being hurt, and those were the reasons, or at least two of the major reasons, why I didn't vlog this whole time. But I didn't talk about why I was depressed. So let's talk a little bit about why I was depressed, okay? First off, I was depressed as soon as I got back from my bicycle tour because I wanted to be back out there touring. I wanted to go and tour some more. I didn't want to stop. You know, the tour was hard. It was frustrating but it was also very liberating. You know, I enjoyed being on tour. I enjoyed it a lot, actually. 
So as soon as I got back, I was depressed. There's no doubt about it. I was depressed because I really, really wanted to be back out on tour again. So that was part of it, okay? I was depressed before I even got into the bicycle accident. And then as soon as I got into the bicycle accident, um, oh, I was in such pain, I couldn't think about anything but the pain for at least almost three weeks, you know, two to three weeks. And then about a month and a half, the pain was almost completely gone with the exception of my knee. My knee was the only thing that still, and to this day, still hurts. So for the most part, I'm pretty healed up, but I stayed depressed for almost a month after that. Not just because I wasn't out on tour. You know, I wanted to be out on tour, obviously, but also because I'm getting older and I'm not healing as quick as I once did. I remember mountain biking and I remember I would fly off the side of a, <laughs> what seemed like a huge eight foot cliff and land in the brush and on tree stumps and everything else. And I seemed to just pop back up and be fine, you know? I remember in my 20s, I could sleep on a pile of rocks and feel okay when I woke up in the morning, but I can't even sleep in my bed and not wake up with, you know, all these pains and stuff. Man, if this is getting old, I don't want it. <laughs> but unfortunately, we don't have a choice in the matter, do we? So I realized I'm not healing as quickly as I once did. So I'm in pain a lot more and I stay hurt a lot longer. But one of the aggravating things and one of the biggest reasons why I stayed depressed for as long as I did was because I realized that anything could disable me. I realized I could get hit on the way to work tomorrow, you know, and be disabled, paralyzed from the waist down, or I could have my knee folded back 180 degrees in the wrong direction, you know, and then that's the end of my bicycle touring days, you know. And I got depressed because I realized there are a lot more days behind me than there are in front of me, you know? And there's still so much I wanted to do. So I stayed depressed for a long time, guys. I just was like, uh, feeling sorry for myself like a little bitch, you know what I mean? And I just got so disgusted with myself. But mainly what snapped me out of this whole depressive funk was I was at the grocery store the other day actually about a week, almost two weeks ago at this point in time, I was at the grocery store and I saw somebody in a wheelchair. It was a girl and she, I guess there was some mechanism holding her head straight up because otherwise she wouldn't even be able to hold her head up and she was kind of drooling on herself. And I started thinking about that girl, all the things that she's not going to get to experience in this life. She's not going to get married. She's not going to climb a 14,000 foot mountain. She's never going to go on a bicycle tour. She's never going to even get to walk on the beach. And I think about all of the experiences that I've had in this life, going from coast to coast, being in different countries, riding my bike everywhere, climbing mountains, just all the things that I've done in my life, you know, and I started realizing how ungrateful I actually am and how I should be happy for my life right now, because my life really isn't that bad. Then I start looking at just people that I know, you know, people that would love to live here in Denver, but can't because they can't afford it or whatever. And I'm living here in Denver. I get to go to the mountains. I get to take four, may, if I budget my money good enough, I could take four good bicycle trips a year, you know? I mean, I'm planning on a European trip this summer. So, I mean, there's that. I do have a lot of freedom and flexibility. You know what I'm saying? I make good money. I, you know, I have it good and I shouldn't be complaining. I shouldn't be depressed. It's like, I feel like such a crappy person, you know, I, I don't know. I really don't. It's like, God, I'm such an ungrateful person and it's embarrassing to say, but I can admit that to you guys because you guys are, are very kind, but the person I can't admit it to is myself. I feel like I'm the worst kind of person because I just can't be happy with what I have, you know, and what I can do in life. We're not promised tomorrow that's true, but we also have to take each day as if it were our last, and we have to be grateful for every second on this planet that we get. And, you know, maybe I can't go on tour and spend two years on the bicycle but ultimately, my life isn't that bad. 
And I think I can do a lot of things and I could have a lot of things and I get to enjoy a lot of things. And I need to just stop being such a little whiny bitch. And I realized that. And I kind of slapped myself out of it, you know, that proverbial slap right upside the face. And I'm going to start doing better on that front. I'm going to start actually being a better person. That is my goal for this new year of 2023. So, yeah, I'm definitely going to stop getting into these depressive funks and start actually focusing on some of the things that I want to do and focusing on the things that I can do and enjoying and being grateful for what I have in this life. And I think if I do that, I'll be a much better person and even a much happier person. So ultimately, guys, um, yeah, that's one of the biggest reasons why I stayed depressed for as long as I did, because I was just scared. I was scared that my time is running out and I'm not going to get to do all the things I want to do in this life. But now I'm over that. Now we're going to focus on making videos. I've got, I'm, I've got such a backlog of videos. I've got several bikes we got to look at, lots of products that we got to look at. I have such a backlog and I really need to start focusing. We're going to be back up to making videos pretty soon. I'm making the 2023 Zizzo Forte unboxing video right now. I'm kind of editing it out. So that video is coming pretty soon. We're going to talk about that electric bike that saved my bacon. We're going to talk about that pretty soon. Um, we got other bikes we got to look at as well. The uh, Obviously the Bike Friday. We're going to be talking about it pretty soon. We've got other products that we got to look at, plus all the vlogs that I'm going to be doing. So we're going to get right back up into making videos, guys. I do apologize for the extended absence. I guess I just needed to get my head screwed on right, and I think, I think it's there. At least I'm hoping it is. But anyway, I appreciate all you guys sticking with the channel. I appreciate all your guys' comments, your well wishes. I appreciate all of you guys... Uh, you know, the concern that you guys have shown me, I really, really do appreciate that. You guys are the best. You really are. So I'm really happy that I'm getting back to making videos, guys. Some of you are probably asking where the Yellowstone Tour videos are. They are coming. I, I've got so much footage that I'm trying to edit out right now. I'm working on the first installment or day one of the Yellowstone Loop Tour so yeah, I'm definitely going to be putting out those pretty soon. So there's a lot of content coming. I just, um, yeah, being depressed sucked, but I'm over that now and everything is starting to look up. But anyway, guys, uh, I got to end the video here. It's already getting long enough as it is. I just wanted to thank each and every one of you and I wanted to welcome all the new subscribers and I really do appreciate you guys sticking with the channel. It really does mean a lot. So, um, I'm going to call it quits here. I got to go and get my laundry out because I've got, I've got a lot of things going on at the, the moment. I've got beans locked in the other room and she's not happy about it. If you can hear her, she's like whining really hard right now. So I got to go attend to her. Anyway, guys, I appreciate it. Thank you for watching the video and I will see you guys on the next one. I appreciate it. Bye-bye.